How we doing everybody? Welcome back to some more TCG goodness here on the Galarian Gold channel where I'm doing my intro for the first ever time with the double camera setup. Welcome to the video. We have ourselves the double camera setup now and we have ourselves one of the brand new Umbreon V tins. We have the Umbreon version. Of course, there are Espeon and Sylveon versions available. We may or may not get to those in a future video, but I wanted to pick my favorite of the three, which is Umbreon, and get this open today. So let's do that. So let's start with the Umbreon. I don't like how they've packaged this. Look at the back of this. You have to get this out in a really delicate way, and I don't want to damage it, but we're gonna try and just sort of ping it out. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like it, it doesn't feel right. But we have ourselves a pretty immaculate looking Umbreon promo card here. They're actually really nice, these promo cards. I've seen them on obviously Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. This is my first time ever seeing it up close. Let's just make sure that focus is perfect for you guys. And you can see there, we have ourselves the Umbreon V promo, Sword and Shield. I think that's 203 there at the bottom. My favorite thing about this is the red eye. It's sort of like front and center, that red foil of Umbreon's eye there as it glistens as you move it on different angles. I really enjoy that. So that's a beautiful promo card and is pretty much the main reason why you'll be buying one of these sets. Hopefully we do get some pulls in the four packs. I don't know what the four packs are, but we're gonna find out. So inside the tin then, all you get is the packs beyond the promo card, which is great. Let's find out what packs we have got here. We have a Brilliant Stars, uh, another Brilliant Stars, a Fusion Strike, I knew that was gonna be in here, and a Vivid Voltage. Okay, we'll take that. I'm only collecting Brilliant Stars as a binder out of those packs that we saw, but I'm glad that we've got two of those then, and the rest of these, if we get any good hits in these two, they will most likely be going up on my eBay store, guys, so check that out in the description. And I think today we'll start with Vivid Voltage and try and get our second ever amazing rare. I've only ever pulled the Jirachi from Fusion Strike. Oh, sorry, from Vivid Voltage as an amazing rare. These packs straight away feel so fresh because they are from the Pokemon Center and you can never go wrong with ordering directly from the Pokemon Center. Here in the UK, we have it in the US. Uh, they also have it and in Japan. I don't think Australia and places like that have it yet, but hopefully at some point, that will happen. Let's start then with this grass type energy. We have a stone energy, a shuckle, a cramorant, drillba, oshawott, duskull, ferroseed, riolu, and in the reverse slot we have a reverse hollow. Unfortunately, it is the beauty, and our rare is a Dom fan. Nothing crazy then, I think it's fair to say, in Vivid Voltage. So let's move on to a bit of Fusion Strike with the Genesect artwork on front. Very cool, you know, the Pokemon. Potentially the next classic gen to get remade, we hope. I mean, chronologically, that would make sense. They might dip into Johto, though, I feel. We'll see. And here we go with this Fusion Strike pack. There we go. We have ourselves a Fighting Type Energy, a Breloom, Cross Switcher, Garboda, or Garbodor, Dupida, Meowth, Onyx, Tutor. We have a Shroomish, Quick Ball Reverse Hollow, and our rare is a new card, a Galarian Cursola. I love how they call it Cursola. Very cool, very neat, very clever. And now hopefully onto our main feature here of Brilliant Stars. We have two Brilliant Stars packs to end things off with here. We start with this Whimsicott pack, which hopefully is packing something new for the binder. And we, of course, hope for maybe the Arceus V-Star. We have a black code card here, which means we've got something good. And of course, there's always the chance to get a trainer gallery card as well. And we start with a... Oh, did I see something black at the back there? We start off with a Electric Energy. We have Primplup. Monferno, oh, I wanted that to be Grottle so bad. That's happened to me a few times. Fracture, Sneasel, Clink, Spiritomb, Axew, Impidimp. Now, do we get a Trainer Gallery here? <gasps> we do, it's a dupe, but we get one. I've already pulled this before, but it's so lovely. These Trainer Gallery cards are so colorful, vivid, vibrant, and they just always feel so good to pull. This one will most likely be going up on my eBay store, guys. And we also have ourselves a Torterra Hollow, which is another lovely card 
that I already own. So that's a really good pack there. We do get a trainer gallery, which typically you get four to five of these in a booster box. So that's four in sort of 36 packs on average. The fact that we've got two packs here and we've pulled one of these is nothing short of spectacular luck. So let's end this video off then with the Arceus pack. I actually just got done finishing, I haven't even finished it, but playing the Legends Arceus post game where, spoiler, you got two seconds to get away from here if you haven't played it yet, but where you do actually find out that Volo is the Giratina or Giratina, like, he, he unleashed Giratina to cut a hole in space-time, basically, which I just thought was such a cool twist to the story. And I was always suspicious of Giratina being the sort of villain Pokemon in that game, and it turned out to be true. So here we go anyway into this Arceus pack. I'm going to stop waffling, and we're going to hopefully get some hits. So I'm going to try and hide the Hode card, the Hode card? The Code card from both myself and you guys. I feel like out of four packs, we've already used up quite a lot of luck, of course, with the, uh, the Trainer Gallery card Oranguru that we got. We'll start with the Grass Energy into Dusclops, Bear Tick, Roseanne's Backup, which we pulled the Full Art of recently, Nose Pass, Dedene, Cub Chew, Shinx, Farfetch. Can we get another Trainer Gallery? We can't. We do get a Reverse Hollow, Cynthia's Ambition, and our final card is a Flygon regular rare our rares today then we did obviously pull that flygon literally just now we got the galarian cursula which was from fusion strike and we got the vivid voltage here of a dom fan as today's reverse hollows then we did get cynthia's ambition we got a quick ball which is kind of nice and we got ourselves a beauty from Vivid Voltage. And the two main pulls of today's Umbreon Tim, we got a Torterra Hollow from Brilliant Stars. And of course, that beautifully centered. I actually, do you know what? As I said that, I realized that it's very slightly right heavy, but I mean very slightly. Um, overall, really good condition from the front. Let's have a look at the back now. I'll do very, my very best to uh, not sort of touch it in any sort of central positions. Um, yeah, no whitening really that I can see maybe a tiny tiny bit on the bottom which I don't know if you guys can make out but there is a tiny bit of whitening on the bottom but still it's pretty much near immaculate there and always great to get a trainer gallery from Brilliant Stars it's what makes Brilliant Stars such a fun set to open and if that was any other set you would have probably been quite disappointed at the pools but that makes the the tin really we mustn't forget the promo Umbreon which is kind of the whole reason why you pay a little bit extra than four packs would cost you normally. Four pounds times four, that's 16 pounds, but you pay that extra little bit of money to get the Umbreon V and definitely worth it. Of course, again, this is available in a Sylveon version and an Espeon version. So definitely get your hands on them if you do like any of those evolutions. It's a really lovely promo, at least for the Umbreon V card. So very happy with that, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching another TCG video here on the Galarian Gold channel. I feel like I said that sentence too quickly and missed a syllable somewhere. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Love you. Yeah.